Today we're going off-site to Unlimited Motorsports here in Livermore, California. We're going to talk with Jody, who's been working on motorcycles for 30 years, focusing mainly on metric motorcycles. Let's go in and talk to Jody and see what he has to tell us about batteries. Right. Hey, Jody, how's it going? Kyle, how are you doing today? Doing great. I see you got uh, all of your battery stuff all set up here, ready yep. to go for us. Did a couple little uh, setups here with the battery tester, battery tender, and a couple batteries we can run through some testing on and stuff. Awesome. Let's get busy. All right, Jody, we've seen a big shift in the metric cruiser market going sealed batteries. You've got Bike Master, you've got Uwasa, you've got all kinds of different brands out there. The seal definitely seems to be the more modern approach to the old liquid filled batteries. Absolutely. Uh, no maintenance ones. They're basically filled and charged when they're, when they're first purchased. Maintenance free batteries may not need water, but they do need tending. Um, tend not to last quite as long. Um, sometimes that's due with, uh, to do with the battery running low and people not keeping the maintenance up on it. Maintenance for a sealed battery means keeping it fully charged. One thing is, is uh, motorcycles are designed to maintain a charge in a battery, not to replace a charge in a battery. So in other words, if you have a dead battery, you must put it on a trickle charger, about one and a half amps, boost that battery, and then that motorcycle will maintain that battery. But if the battery is dead, it won't really replace a good charge in the battery, and it makes the motorcycle work overtime on trying to keep that bad battery going. So that would be a misconception then. I was under the impression that the stator and the regulator rectifier were meant to not only replace, but if, if the battery drains low, it goes ahead and, and replenishes. It, um, it will replenish to a certain point. If the battery gets all the way down, then it needs to be brought back up with a charger to bring up the Pacific Gravity up Which there. is what really a battery tender or anything of that nature, the uh, Pulse X Extreme Charge, you plug it in when you're not riding the motorcycle to make sure that battery is top notch for when you unplug and go for the ride. Well on the topic, we can't forget about the old school acid filled batteries. You're, you have your regular uh, liquid filled batteries that are filled with electrolyte out to every you know, six, eight weeks should be checked and topped off. Um, if you allow that maintenance to drop down, the life of the battery usually drops down too. So we've all got batteries installed in our motorcycles. What's the best way to make sure that the battery's gonna last the longest? Well, always looking, you know, when you're doing your routine maintenance on your bike, always making sure you get to that battery, especially your street bike. Your liquid-filled batteries do have a uh, a vent on them, they got a little vent hose, you want to make sure that hose is always still hooked up because during the hot time of the weather uh, you'll tend to uh, lose uh, water evaporation or electrolyte evaporation out of your liquid filled battery. Keeping your terminals clean, there is battery cleaner you can spray on your battery terminals, keeping that stuff clean so you got a good connection. To really find out the state of the battery and exactly what it's doing. Can you show us how this works, how you would test the battery? To sure. Yep. Like? Yep. Basically this is what they call a little battery load tester. Um, you just took your negative, negative, positive, positive. You can actually hook it up, and then it gives you a readout on it. Like this one's reading 12 volts, and then it's got like a, a, a trigger here that you pull. And now, as you can see, this one's dropping down. And the more I hold this, it's heating it up and putting a load to it, and it's dropping the meter down there, and it's going to bad. And then that. Basically, with it releasing, it's telling me it still has some sort of charge. So is what I would do with this battery before I replaced it would be to give it about a three to four hour, one and a half trickle charge. And then I would reload test it again. And as long as it stayed up into the green when I load tested, it should be good enough to operate and, and run on a motorcycle. So what you're saying is you would recommend that if they think that there's a battery issue, take the battery to the shop, have the shop test it to see where it hits as far as load goes. Absolutely. Now, is there a general life cycle or lifespan for a battery? You know, on a good maintenance battery, you should be able to get somewhere at about three years okay. of, of, of regular good maintenance on a battery. Well, thank you, Jody, for your time today and for walking through us battery maintenance here at the shop. We appreciate your time, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Kyle.